What's up guys? Good morning, good morning, good morning. So today we're going to be heading up to Orlando for Desilands, Cars and Octane. I'm going to meet up a lot of the Orlando uh, Beamer Club guys and then we're just going to have a good time. So I'm running a little bit behind but we're going to make up some time right now. What's up guys? So we're about maybe another 40 miles away from Desoland, Orlando. If you guys don't know Desoland, it's a uh, indoor theme park. It is the largest indoor attraction in the state of Florida. So this event right here is sponsored or being hosted by Desoland. And their event is called Cars and Octane. It's kind of like a Cars and Coffee. So what we're doing at this event is attending and what's pretty cool about it too, there's gonna be a sneaker convention going on inside. So if you guys are into, uh, you know, the high price Nikes, Jordans and stuff, it's definitely gonna be there. I'm gonna check it out. I'm probably not gonna buy anything to be honest, but uh, I'm gonna check it out. So it's gonna be good also to go to Orlando and see some of the guys I met last time at the Obsessed Garage open house. Good to see them and catch up again and also show them off the new wheels. Um, excited to show off these new wheels either that vlog is gonna be before this one or after this one so we'll see regardless you guys are gonna get the content but our main focus for this event is to really gauge the experience of what Desoland plus BMW invasion could be um, I know that we are very excited to host our yearly event there and we're probably announcing it soon if not we already did but we're announcing that we're doing a yearly event there like we did in uh, Melbourne, Florida, and we're gonna have the exhaust competition. Uh, we already have sponsors already on board like Valvetronic, Liquid Molly, um, a lot of other local uh, mom and pops shops in the area are gonna be uh, at the events. And um, we're excited to uh, include a lot more sponsors and we're in the communication with many more right now. But the main thing is, I'm gonna go there, I'm gonna film it, I'm gonna document it for you guys like I always do, and then really make it really interesting with the cinematics. So before we get to Desiland, I wanna thank our sponsors for this video, and that's Simply Carbon Fiber. So whether if you guys are looking for gifts for your significant others or family members that are really car-oriented uh, type of person, definitely look up Simply Carbon Fiber. They have a lot of gifts on there. Uh, whether it's phone cases, wallets, money clips, chargers, screen protectors, and a lot of the products that on there are geared towards car enthusiasts. Uh, about a month ago, Simply Carbon Fiber sent me over a uh, wallet that has Alcantara and carbon fiber in it. I love that wallet. I use it on um, the last two trips I've been on. But I want to thank them for sponsoring this video. If you guys want to purchase anything from their website, definitely use this discount code right over here. Um, and that's going to get you 10% off on your next purchase and any other purchases after that. But like I said, I want to thank them again for sponsoring this video. And I'll see you guys at Desoland. Breakfast of Champions, Starbucks. This is a impossible breakfast sandwich. But besides that, we are actually at Desertland. So when you first come to this main entrance, once you look at the main entrance, you can definitely tell it is cars everywhere. So a lot of these cars are not the cars that we like, not BMWs or anything like that. But I'm gonna finish my breakfast sandwich. I think Miguel and Kevin should already be here already. I think the Orlando guys are gonna be rolling out here by like 9.45, 9.30. Um, like I said, they have a sneaker convention going on, something interesting, so sneakers and cars kind of combined. What's good about this place is too is there's go-karts, there is a trampoline center, a um, whole bunch of like indoor activities, and there's a lot of shops inside. Alright, so we are just getting set up right now, it's another uh, early, hot, sunny day in Orlando. I'm here with Miguel. So Miguel, what's the concept of today's event? So the concept of today's event is more prepping for our BMW Invasion event, which you're planning for February 19th. 
And what we're doing here is, as you can see, we have ample parking outdoors where we're gonna have a lot of the food trucks, some of the vendors, uh, some of the show cars. And the reason why I say some, because our event is gonna be an outdoor and an indoor event. It's gonna be more uh, like a SEMA style event um, that are gonna be displaying their products. They're gonna be talking to you about you know, fitment, uh, what's, you know, the right product, why is it that they designed it, uh, different exhaust vendors that are coming out that, of course, BMW Focus, are so going to be able to talk to the different vendors, uh, guys that have, that are doing upgrades, whether it's suspension upgrades, they're going to be here as well. So we're going to have a variety of vendors. Like I said, it's going to be like a SEMA style uh, type of show. We are always going to have our exhaust competition, so stay tuned for that. Um, and that's what's up. So we're glad to uh, have you guys join us. So stay tuned. Uh, you got Kevin with his uh, his lights. He thinks he's a construction worker with the yellow and white lights. But um, like he said, it's a SEMA type of type of event. So there's gonna be you know vendors inside the place, outside cars, inside and outside. But stay tuned for that. We're gonna have a good time. So enjoy the footage. Send me the location, then I'll be right there. Then we can come check you, my baby. No time, no. I'm not gonna lie, I was late too. Ace is usually on time, but we have to not, not today though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, so we're out here at Cars and Octane in Desiland. Uh, if you guys don't know the spot, it's the biggest indoor attraction in South Florida. Actually, in Florida itself. But we're out here having a good time. There's a lot of BMWs here. This is a little bit of a taste of what's gonna be going on in February. In February, we're gonna be coming back here and hosting our yearly event. It's gonna be a BMW invasion event. We're gonna have a full media team here. So definitely stay tuned. We have the day announced coming up soon. And also stay tuned for the footage. Be a lot of B-roll. Hi everyone, we're out here, desert land. We've been recording all day, getting good footage. Ken got a lot of B-roll, which is awesome. And it's really cool, it's not just Beamers, it's tons of different cars out here. A lot of different vendors, food trucks, energy drinks, all that good stuff. But we're gonna go inside and check it out get some AC because it's just way too hot out here.
whole event today. I know we had a good time. A lot of uh, different unique cars, but we care about BMW. So a lot of BMWs here, E9X came out on full force. So the F80s too, F8X. But Miguel, what do you think about the whole event? Yeah, we had a good turnout. We had roughly around 92 BMWs come out today for Cars and Coffee. It allowed us the opportunity to get some footage of what our event is gonna look like overall here. They had around 500 cars outside. So I think it was a great turnout. What's good about this venue too, is that there's also activities inside. So if you guys are too hot being out here all day, there is a sneaker convention inside. Also, there's go karts, and you also have other things like, you know, arcades, right? Your son was playing a whole bunch of games with earlier, right? So stay exactly. tuned for that. We're possibly working out a burnout competition and also our exhaust competition. So stay tuned for that. All right. See Peace. you guys. Peace. So I want to thank you guys so much for tuning into this week's episode. Definitely hit the like button if you guys like the content. If you guys haven't subscribed, consider subscribing. And every time we do an event, it's always better and better. And we appreciate you guys' support. And I appreciate all the support I get from you guys. The feedback has been at most the most positive. And when I get those positive feedback, I feed off of it. It makes me so motivated to give you guys good quality content. And that, it means a lot to me. So besides that, I'll see you guys on next week's episode. Peace.